Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Beastman Private Limited and uh, in this video we will learn one of the very interesting uh, use case study related to the HR database and an organization is uh, maintaining the data in a non-tabular format and uh, they are required some uh, insights from this data and we will discuss that either excel formulas are useful in this situation or uh, we can use excel power query uh, to solve the situation in less time and and with with less efforts to have a meaningful uh, extraction of from the data which is required to the management so let's get proceed uh, if you can see the data uh, this organization uh, has uh, assuming that uh, eight employees and we have columns and and you can see the data each of the date is in a separate columns and uh, the first column pertains to the employee numbers the second column pertains to the employee names and then uh, the, their status of each of the employee that either he or she has uh, gain some uh, annual leaves or a sick leaves or a privilege leaves right or they have taken off uh, suddenly ad hoc basis from the uh, organization so so every uh, date is presented in a separate column and the management is required that um, how many employees has taken the for example the sick leave and the earned leave or a privilege leave uh, in, in the month of May so we need to extract the data um, from this non tabular format uh, required that we need employee number employee names and their and the dates in which those employees who have gained uh, the sick leave and the earned leave uh, f f uh, applied for that so now in this kind of a data set it's very difficult to uh, create a formula might be formula or, or or we need to transform the data from non tabular into a tabular format so that it can be easily uh, fetch the data which is actually required to the management so uh, i have uh, i i will demonstrate uh, two solutions in this video very quickly and I will share this file with you you can uh, download this file uh, the link will be mentioned in the description on our YouTube channel Excel basement so uh, let's get start if if we have this kind of a data set which is a non tabular format and uh, first way to convert this data into a tabular format means raw wise right so so I have used some helper columns or you can say extra columns to make this non tabular data into a tabular format now for doing that definitely a lot of efforts are required and uh, let me show you that which kind of uh, formulas or functions I have created and nested with each other so that this data should be transformed in a different way so th so if you can see in the column a r and a s uh, you will find uh, uh, two columns they are th these are the extra columns for the calculation to make a non tabular data into a tabular format so um, as as i said that in in our this particular example we have eight employees so the first function which i have applied in the in this particular cell is the count a function which definitely counts the total number of employees which are available in the data set and we know that it start from c7 to c14 so it, it gives 8 as a return value now the raw index column as, as you can observe that it's generate a serial number starting from 1 till 8 so it's generating a serial number from 1 till 8 why because we have 8 employees right and each date is present in a separate column so if i conclude these two columns calculation so there are eight employees so one till eight serial number has been generated and again uh, it's, it's starting from one till eight and it it will repeat until and unless uh, we will get to know that how many columns uh, date wise are present in in our data set and the column index the first 
uh, if you can observe that th this specific formula is creating one every time and it's create one uh, eight times and then uh, after that it's starting from the next number which is this two in the in the serial number and again it's creating two two number eight times then three so it represent the column number in which there there are different employees there are eight different employees until unless we will find that how many columns are there uh, in our data set right so so we have uh, 31 days in in the month of may and we have eight employees all together right but if i uh, expand or show you this formula definitely in, in this specific short video might be you will get it or later on if you download the file you will you will get to know that how the serial number is being created so you can so you can play around after watching this video for your understanding so definitely these kind of uh, formulas take time to to analyze and to think about that how it, it will be work right and based on these two uh, logics raw index and the column index uh, i am converting the non tabular data into a tabular format and uh, extracting the four uh, and i am extracting the four important columns which are required later on to convert into a pivot table to extract those employees who have uh, applied for the sick leave or the earned leave or the privilege leave uh, based on different dates so once i have created the raw index number and the column index number so i have used the index function uh, to to fetch the employee numbers then dates then i have used from the date uh, once i have got the dates i have used the text function to extract the date and then definitely the inputs because i required that which employee has uh, gained uh, which kind of uh, leave in in a particular date right so now this specific non tabular data has been converted into a tabular format by applying some various uh, functions available in microsoft excel which definitely takes a time to to make this transformation and once we have done this transformation and after converting this data i have created another worksheet in which i have summarized all those employees who have taken the earned leaves and the sick leaves on different particular dates and their employee numbers so this is a simple kind of um, you can say index match and a combination of if error so let me just zoom this so instead of vlookup i have used this index match and rows and and some concatenate concept and and uh, for not having the na errors in in the cells so i have used the if error to uh, substitute it with a blank so so this is again a very simple uh, formula to uh, so intermediate and ad advanced level users can understand so this is how i fetch the data uh, the the one more way to get these sick leave and and earn leave data is once you have the tabular format data from a non tabular uh, you can select this four columns and uh, then you can create a pivot table for that and within the pivot table you can just drag and drop the fields which you are required and in the inputs i have only selected the sick leave and the earn leaves which is el and sl right so now from starting from from this non tabular data converting and transforming to a tabular format by having some helper columns and and creating some complex formulas for it for that um, we we applied the index match at the end or we applied the pivot tables so if we want to do a less efforts and we want to apply the uh, another feature of excel and we we don't want to invest a lot of time in 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 the solution one for example so we can go for the power query as well and within few clicks uh, the data will get transformed uh, let me show you that how it can be done and then you can create a pivot table to fetch the required result for for the for the manager he has asked for from you so now we have a data and uh, this is the similar data we have the employee numbers we have employee names and then we have uh, the leaves status for each of the date in a separate column 
and uh, what you can observe is that in the previous data set you have also two helper rows which uh, represent the uh, date day and the name of the day so we can uh, transform that as well uh, in the power query so don't need to worry about that so quickly i will select this entire data set by pressing ctrl a and i will convert this data into a table format so for converting a normal data set into a table format you can press ctrl t or you can go to in the insert tab click on table and make sure that you have a check mark on my table as headers and press ok so once you have a normal data converted into a table what you can do is if you are using the latest version of microsoft excel uh, go to data tab and on the left side you will find get and transform data group here you will find a small icon of a table or range click on that so when you click on that power query editor window will open and you will now in a power query editor so the first thing is that you need to select all the columns all the dates columns all together so uh, i have clicked on the first may 2019 and i will press the shift key and i will use the scroll bar and uh, holding the shift key and i will click on the last column so that all columns should be selected and i will go to transform tab and i will click on unpivot columns so now this non tabular data has been converted into a tabular format and i now i need to transform some columns into their proper formatting so as you can see the, this date column is not uh, set into originally as a dates it's it's being into a text format so i will just click on a small icon on the top left of this header which is called abc at the moment so i will click on this or and from this contextual menu i will click on date so that this should be behave like a date and i will double click on the header to rename this header of this call particular column so i will rename it as a dates and if you have observed that we have we need to have the uh, day number and the day name as well so i will right click on this dates column and i will say make it make this column as a duplicate column two times okay and now i will transform this specific column by right clicking on this particular column and i will say uh, i need the name of the day right and i need for example transform day and the number of the day so i need number of the day so again i will double click on the header to rename so it's day days and double click days number right so once my data get transformed and in a in a proper manner so i will go to home tab and i will click on close and load now remember that if you have used power query before and if you are a, if you are an advanced user you might know that if you click on close and load this entire data set will load into your current excel workbook in a separate excel sheet whereas if you have a large data and you don't want to load it into microsoft excel worksheet and alternatively you want to load it to the power pivot data model so what you can do is click on close and load to and then you can move entire data directly into the power pivot where you can also apply the dax as well and later on if you want to create a dashboard out of this data uh, that will be very easy for you but for this particular video i will load this data into my current workbook in a, in a new separate sheet so i will click on close and load so once i will click on it a new separate sheet will be created and now it shows that there are 248 rows has been loaded once your data has been transformed now you what you are required is to simply create a pivot table so i will go to insert tab click on pivot table and click on okay once you have the pivot table and from the right side you can just drag and drop the fields which you are required as i showed you uh, as as i have created in the solution 1 which was which were required to create a lot of formulas for that so now you don't need to don't need to have the formula for that you can just drag and drop the fields which you are required so employ numbers employ names uh, what else we are required okay 
so in the values we will put values into a filter where we are just required to uh, get all those uh, status of uh, the employees on different dates who have uh, applied for the sick leave and the earned leave so I have check mark on EL and the SL and uh, now I can just put their values here if I need a dates for that I can put the dates here and if you don't like this particular uh, format layout you can just right click go to pivot table options from this contextual menu and here you can click on display tab and click on classic pivot table which will definitely split each of the field into a separate column uh, if you don't want total just right click and uncheck the subtotal so it will remove the subtotal as well so now if you can see one there is one more issue uh, there are some cells which are unfilled if you want to fill this data definitely you have this option available simply go to the design tab and click on report layout and click on repeat all item labels right so now we have all those employees who have achieved uh, the uh, the earned leave and the sick leave right so this is how it's very easy uh, I hope you understand that from starting from way from uh, non tabular data into a tabular format with the help of power query within just few clicks and you got fetch your data which which the management has required for you so I hope you like both these two solutions I will upload this file and uh, do share this video with the others as well thank you